Jamming with Jay. Wednesday nights from 6 to 9. From your radio is not a mistake. And all of a sudden we we heard this strange sound. What's up, what's yep. up, what's up, what's up? It's currently Why don't 736. you do the yeah, anymore? I do I'm sometimes. always the one doing it myself. Every time we come back from intro, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? For like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, we got Randell in the building. There we right. go. Was good. Intro. So how was the mission? Amazing. I heard, <laughs> it, I heard it took a while. It took a little while to get here. You know what I'm saying? But we're here. <laughs> I should have done my research how to get here, but you know, it's cool. It's yeah, cool, it's cool. it happens, it happens, right? You learn from your mistakes, right? We yeah, out here. For sure. We <laughs> out here. In the building, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to uh, introduce uh, who you are and what you do exactly, like uh, j- just the movement that you're making. Uh, my name is Randell. I am the founder of an organization called Rise Poetry. Uh, Rise Edutainment and the mission pretty much is to provide a platform for artists across the city to you know express themselves and I found that there's a lack of that in the city and it's it's unfortunate because there's a lot of youth out there who don't know how to express themselves with words or just you know through a positive means and yeah. I have some friends who um, are now you know not on the other side of the law because they weren't able to express themselves so you know we provide that, pr- that platform every single Monday and uh, yeah, we're just looking to grow and keep on going. So, uh, so you started a year ago or so. It was about to be a year. Yeah. Um, so, what were kind of the changes that you did from back then? Because you used to do at Scarborough Town Center, yeah. from what I heard, and now you're doing at a, a different uh, venue. Yeah. So, like, how, how did you even make that connection at Scarborough to do that? Like, was it just something that you could just walk in and do, or was it uh, something that you had to talk to somebody and kind of set it up? It was at first an idea. It was it was totally an idea that I had, and um, I I accidentally literally walked into the Resource Center at Scarborough Youth Resource Center, which is in Scarborough Town Center. Yeah. And uh, I spoke with them, and they used to have events, uh, not events, and just shows back in the day. Uh, dancing is dance is more known for dancing, but I spoke with one of the uh, event coordinators there. His name was Everton, and Everton just said, "Yeah, this would be a good idea." He passed it on, and you know they want they're interested in doing something similar. Yeah. Um, honestly, through word of mouth and just being consistent, having it every single Monday, and the talent came out. Like I never knew Toronto was so talented, but the talent came out. Um, people kept continuing spreading the word, and you know we were just authentic with our words. So it was it was just bound to to grow. And um, the capacity was 60, yeah. and our first show had 23 people. And now and like back in December, we had like 100 people packed up in a a 60 people a space. Room. It was so intimate. Yeah. Like you're just you know you're pretty much kissing people you know what I'm saying, <laughs> um, not that serious but you know it was good it was cool it was cool. Why is it such like a homey environment? Yeah. Like everyone just like the first time I went out like everyone was hugging me hey how are you <laughs> like are you good I'm like I don't even know you I know like, right I love it's that. just that's just how how rise is and mm-hmm. it's so important to the city and especially even coming out of Scarborough because so many people don't know where to go mm-hmm. with with youth programs mm-hmm. and things yeah. like that but rise is one that's definitely been spreading and mm-hmm. like even I mentioned it when I was at school like yeah I'm going to rise oh I heard about that my friend goes there it's mm-hmm. it's not like a small thing it's seriously seriously yeah. growing it's a dope thing yeah, yeah. yeah. it's known <laughs> it's definitely known like no. even for me um, like I talked to my cousin about it because he works at uh, Scarborough Town Center so I'm like you should head by he's like yo if you see this girl performing you should, uh, you should definitely check her out because she's live right uh, I met my friend from there that, that nice. was there and I'm like yo you go here too like yeah like wow. I didn't know you'd be here like you're from Hamilton right so and there's actually I don't know you, well, I'm guessing you know him as well uh, this guy Philip Opie uh, from Toronto. That's my dude. Yeah. That's so I was dude. talking to him today as well. Entertainment. Like, yeah. So he, he was going okay. to be turning uh, tuning in today, but he has uh, some. He had a um, mentoring or something okay. going on today, okay. right? So okay. he wasn't be able to. Uh, but j- just in general, just yeah. like it's crazy how many people actually know about know it about at yeah. uh, a widespread, right? Mm-hmm, so definitely. it's definitely a big movement for you. Definitely. It's Even crazy. with roll call, when you do like when you shout out the cities or the areas that are in the building, like who comes through? Mm-hmm. Uh, we say uh, Mississauga. Boop, boop, and then we boop, get boop. like, and, like yeah, John, like get, in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> like a view for you from his saga, like boop, boop, boop. we get like Brampton. Woo! Markham. <laughs> every, like honestly, everywhere gets shout outs. You know, we even yeah. call it Oshawa and every now and then like a couple people from Oshawa. Uh, Pickering, Ajax. So it's really like a really citywide movement. Yeah. And I did really didn't see that, you know, manifesting, allowing seeing that, you know, to be as big. Uh, but it's really good to see that, you know, the yeah. growth is just keep on growing. So Oh, definitely. Like, honestly, like, I think it's definitely because there are 
obviously there's people that are doing venues and this and that and little little events uh but like one thing that i liked about yours because like i've been to many other ones but yeah. like to be at yours and have that poetry and just that feeling in general and i spoke about it before mm-hmm. uh before you got here uh but just in general the feeling that it kind of gets you like i was like mm-hmm. it's kind of like getting butterflies in your yeah, stomach right literally. because with everything that's going on in toronto especially uh mm-hmm. with like the shootings and just all the stupidness that's going on mm-hmm. uh to be there and see people express themselves and not really care what people are going to say mm-hmm. or think about them is definitely a good scene and that's what i'm saying like it, it definitely yeah. needs to uh be something that will stay for a long time because yeah. it's, it's something that's necessary for everyone in for toronto sure. especially yeah you, right? you, so, you touched on a couple of things actually that i wanted yeah. to, to touch on um i think like what Ry- what rice has done is like you know originally it was called rice poetry yeah but people have have come in with their with their lyrics and it's no longer just poetry that you think you know like poetry is now like there's a rhythm you yeah. know rap is rhythm and poetry people have taken it to another level where it's spoken word and poetry and rap put all all put together you know what i mean yeah. so it's amazing to see that it's just like a new culture of of, of poetry that we've invented mm-hmm. um and like you know you touched on shootings and like honestly when i i just wanted to provide a safe space for people yeah on july 16th last year you know the the shooting that happened where 25 people got shot yeah um like literally some people said came to me like yo if i wasn't here at the show i would have been at the barbecue so you know to know that you were able to put on something for Follow your dream and follow your heart and people people's lives were saved you know what i mean yeah. it's something you you really gotta you know hang your hat on and like i never seen that happening but i'm just i just give thanks to the man upstairs oh, you know definitely. for providing this opportunity and sometimes i ask like why why me you know what i mean why not anybody else but mm-hmm. you know i just give thanks every day for for being that vessel for people you know so definitely even then i do really encourage people who like think they're not into poetry or not into any of that to go out like an example i brought my 16 year old sister i i had no word of a lie i had to pay my sister to come i paid for her bus fare there i paid for her food i paid for her entrance fee and i paid for her to come back and she left like tia can i come again next week like she's not a person who's like able to sit still and Mm -hmm. listen for a long period of time but she really did enjoy it so it's something like you have to kind of test the waters with to know you can't just say right off the bat because rise is so different like i think when people think of poetry they think of the stuff that they learned in school where they had to read the books and then analyze the poem it's mm. none of that it's yeah. more like a story and you can find a lot more things to relate to mm-hmm. exactly that. yeah that, that, that's definitely what's good about it is like just in general like how, how i was saying like to kind of uh express more about the, the butterfly feeling it's like sometimes like if you watch a movie or something there might be that one moment where you're just like yo like that really got me like i love that scene right mm-hmm. and you kind of get that feeling that you would get in a movie at this event the whole time right mm-hmm. like it just really holds you in and you never know what poetry or what just like someone's freestyle or this and that or someone just performing in general uh you never know what can connect with you and kind mm-hmm. of uh you have a fit like it's a similar feeling and you mm-hmm. never know someone that you know as well uh just might have a similar feeling as well right so it's just it connects you it just for connects sure. you and connects everyone and sure. it like i could i guess for your sister uh not really liking poetry <laughs> and stuff like that um it's just something that people don't really see nowadays right mm-hmm. so to see something like that it's like something completely new uh so but yeah what about you <laughs> randall how long have you been doing poetry like yourself on your own um I would have to say, you know, I start my first ever spoken word poem yeah. was in grade 11. My first time ever writing a poem uh, was in grade eight. I had this teacher, all, like every year I had teachers just really cared and said, Randall, you have potential. Like I was just, uh, I was, I was your, 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 your popular kid who was just getting, getting in trouble all the time, getting suspended. I was one in jail at 12 years old. Oh you know what I mean? Um, getting, I've been arrested five times in my life and I'm open, I'm, I'm open to say because, you know, like there's not a lot of people who get out of that and I was able to get out of it just simply by believing myself and having people, you know, support me. Um, but my poetry kind of came from, you know, coming from where I've come from, you know, from yeah. being in jail and sitting sitting there and, you know, holding, you know, just being involved in, like, you know, a lot of things I shouldn't have been involved in. Um, but, you know, it's what's helped me to kind of overcome and express myself and be able to say, yo, I, I need to do better. So my poetry helps me do better, you know? Definitely. And other than Rise, where else have you performed or any competitions that you've been in? Um, I haven't been in too many competitions. I've been in a few, uh, like up, Dwayne Morgan has his Up From The Roots. I've done that before. I've done the in- Toronto International Poetry Slam. Gone to New York and Cafe um, with Britta B and some other people uh, in New York City, in Harlem. Um, performed at uh, Ryerson University, U of T, York University. Uh, a lot of places <laughs> so yeah you've definitely been around getting it out there right definitely so uh, how about now do you want to perform on indie 101 <laughs> uh, jamming with jay 
All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You guys want to hear some spoken word? Or yeah. Anything, man. man. We're going to snap in the studio. We're going to snap in the studio. Snap at home if you're listening. Snap in the halls if you're listening. <laughs> tweet guys. us. Tweet us. Hashtag down with Jay. Hashtag yeah. snaps at us if you're listening. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do a little rap for you guys that I wrote. Alrighty. Um, goes like this i wrote this one because a few of my friends you know what i'm saying like uh just three years ago just got got sucked into a system the system so i wrote this goes um said it's hard being black tough and one by little it's either you can rap or you could take a ball of dribble grip and holding a pistol quick to shoot if they diss you rabbit kicks it's an issue so tell me how it feels only three options to shoot run and steal but i ain't talking basketball see brothers quick to pass it off brothers break fast for the next meal take your kicks if the check's real so tell me how the tech feel cold steel to your chest and you trying to feed a family you only got a plate to eat but hurt people hurt people and i'm a brothers know about love it's sex her and her people see daddy was a square never in the circle daddy wasn't there mommy said he wouldn't hurt you angry at the fact but now you sitting on curfew single parent home you got a couple siblings but you feeling all alone inside so you cry so you lie you steal you cheat and you feeling like the feet has you laying on your back can it knock you off the feet that had you walking in faith once upon a time before the family started depending on the crime now he's selling drugs to pay for his tuition now she's selling love to put the food up on the kitchen two ears and one mouth they never do listen quick to pull it out short temper but see they got a long sentence they got short tempers with a long sentence see this violence is endless so we got to rise here to end it so some some <laughs> yeah thank you definitely thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so 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 in general with your movement and everything like is this something that like from what has gone on now uh and you're almost at your one year is this something that you really want to hold on to and really make it a bigger movement or uh, definitely definitely uh to know the power the, the power of the word they say the tongue is very powerful yeah and i think uh to give people that power or to give people that platform to express themselves um not only in scarborough not only in toronto but to expand it and let people know the reasons as to why uh, you know poetry or just self-expression is so important um, and building confidence you know like I also do workshops as well going to like art facilitations yeah. and uh, doing workshops and you know teaching teaching the art of poetry is amazing like you know double entendres metaphors and letting people know how to use words uh, for their benefit is a really powerful thing so I hope to not only provide that platform but also to, to plant a seed so after we're gone you know at least the next generation can pick up on something like this yeah. and, and spread the love you know what I'm saying because yo honestly it's just all about love, man. At the end of the day, all that really matters is love. You know, love yourself and love love and be loved. You know what I mean? That's what exactly. it's all about. So. Right. Rise. Right. <laughs> and honestly, yeah, like it's, it's honestly something that needs to stay. Uh, it, sure. It's kind of like, it's like the light in the dark lit darkness of uh, Toronto in general, Literally. right? Like it's it's the side that people don't really know about that they should mm -hmm. know about, right? Because they think Toronto is bad and this and that yeah. and uh, just the bad areas, right? So it, sure. uh, it's really, really a good movement. Yeah. So and, and glad you're doing this. Yeah. Thank you. And you there's, it's really a lack, a lack of opportunities for artists too. So, you know, by the end of this year, we're looking to to get a tour going on, yeah. looking to have a, a little convention for for the, the artists that come out to the movement so that they can get more opportunities to perform in other places yeah. and get new information they need so it's all about giving back yeah um you can follow us at rise poetry if you want some more details in terms of the show and anything else that we might be doing um but you know there's a lot of things going on a lot of things going on yeah, yeah. all For right sure. every wednesday six to nine on indie 101